Good afternoon and welcome back to our third choreographic workshop session. Over the next two afternoon sessions, we will be developing our choreographic practice with choreographer and director Reno Weiser. Reno has enjoyed a performance career in both ballet and contemporary dance. He danced with ballet companies in Geneva and Marseille, and also with Rombe Dance Company and Bonacella Dance Company. As a choreographer and director, Rena has presented work through the Rena Weiser Dance Company, uh, which has been presented at various venues throughout the UK. So health and safety today, as always, um, be aware of the space that you're in and uh, adapt where necessary. If you have any injuries, then please don't practice today, but of course, watch and learn everything you can from today's session. And this session, along with all other sessions, will be available for you to practice at a later date. So without further ado, let's hand over to Reno. Thank you, Reno. Hello and welcome in this uh, choreographic session. Uh, thanks, Richard, for the introdu introduction. Um, so I'm Reno Weiser. I'm a, a London-based choreographer, and I'm very happy to be uh, working with you today on uh, this uh, creative uh, choreographic um, online session. So um, the the session will be constructed with quite a few different elements. Um, we will be looking at uh, warming ourselves up first, um, then we'll um, dive into a few um, improvisation um, sections uh, where we'll give you quite a lot of prompts to, to, to come up with movement. Um, and then we're going to learn a sequence together um, that I've choreographed and uh, finally um, I will give you some tasks to create your, your own sequence uh, at home um, following similar kind of impulses that have um, um, created uh, the, the phrase that I am uh, teaching you a bit later. So uh, the general theme of, of today uh, we are looking at um, English National uh, Ballet legacy and uh, what this company represents so we are taking a, a very uh, small dive into uh, the life of the dancer and more in particular the, 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 the life of, of, of a dancer on tour so we'll be just kind of taking this notion of, of, of being on tour uh, as a, an impulse to, to generate movement, uh, generate improvisation task. So um, the improvisation will very much will be based on um, a little bit of theatricality and also uh, a way to use um, elements of props, not necessarily to dance with them, but to use objects and um, um, and situations as uh, inspiration for movement. So uh, I really hope you enjoy this session and uh, uh, we're going to start very soon with a warm up. So let's uh, first get ourselves a little bit warm, okay? So uh, we'll do this one, I will be talking you through a uh, very short warm up, you've done a class today probably already, so it's just to get our body back into uh, a little bit of a groove. So I'm going to start in parallel position and you just follow me through those simple movements. So we're going to start by moving the head to the right, kind of stretching sideways and then getting yourself to the front, relaxing the neck. Try to let the arm uh, drop down and then keep rolling your left side before we come back. Coming back we go again to the left, same thing, left side, stretching the side, back to the center and then to your right and back up lifting the left arm, we go to the right, this time we take a plie to the center, we open the right arm to the left and we come back and we do the same thing, left side, side and with a plie in the centre to the other side and back, let's take this in first so just the torso releasing forward on the straight leg sideways coming back and on the left sideways releasing forward sideways and back with the arm, left arm up sideways now with a plie in first and stretch to the side and come back, same on the other side, reaching up and center with the feet, reaching up and back in second 
fully shared with Joseph Dawson and Sideways and a plie in the middle and open and come back. Same on the other side, sideways and plie. Good and sideways and back. Okay, not bad. Let's do something with a little bit of a bounce in the feet. I'm just gonna go all together again. We start with the right leg, we go down, push, down, push four times, down, push. Down, push, down, forward, shift the weight, and then gently get yourself back. We do that on the left. Down, push, down, push, down, push, down, push, down, forward, heel down, bring yourself back one more time in parallel. Down, push, 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 down forward, and rise back with your legs. And push down, push down, push down, push down, forward. And then we go first, same thing. Down and push, and push, and push, and push sideways. Up and bring it back. Ready and then down. Push, 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 push down sideways. Hold. Bring it back, last one and one. Push, push, really articulating the feet. Sideways, open the shoulders and bring the step back. And down, push, 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 down sideways. Up and bring the step back and hold. Okay, let's do a few PAs. So in final position, holding your stomach. We're just going to go a little bit and stretch the second one, opening the arms to the side, rolling two counts, go easy, and we go down two counts. We repeat down and stretch, and again and stretch, and run the way up and down. Now we're going to go all the way down together, so down, hold. Here we go. 
for the warm up. Okay, so now we've warmed up a little bit. Um, we're going to do um, a few series of uh, exercises, improvisation exercises. So the theme of today's session is uh, life on, on tour. So um, it is, as I mentioned before, about um, kind of what happens behind the scene for dancers and um, you know trying trying to find different ways to to portray traveling or uh, being in different spaces that are not necessarily the stage uh, so I thought for this improvisation um, I would uh, try to trigger a way to create a dance movement from relatively mundane either actions or objects or situation. So I thought one nice way to do it uh, would be to, to uh, follow a task um, which is very much based on uh, improvisi improvising from, from objects. So I'm going to give you an example. Um, I'm going to explain a little bit how it works and then I'll give you some time to improvise on your own at home. So the example I want to give you is I will ask um, each of you today to look around in your room and to find uh, any objects. The first object that kind of seems a little bit more particular to you, whether it has a, an interesting shape or uh, it suggests some kind of action to do with the object. Uh, for me, I picked this nice candle. Um, so you have, you know, two parts: a, a solid part in metal uh, and the candle part in wax. Uh, and then, um, most importantly, um, candles create lights and candles burn. So there's something interesting in the object itself, um, and uh, maybe in, in in what that object can tell. So we're going to start from this um, to, to, to generate movement. So I'm going to think, okay, I have this candle. What does a candle do and uh, a candle burns? So one of the first things that comes to my mind when I say this is the idea of fire and, and kind of how the, the fire moves. It's something kind of fluid, but at the same time, sometimes it gets moved by the wind. So you have something suddenly that becomes really dynamic that goes through the whole body and kind of shifts and changes. So that's one example of how to improvise with this. The second one is to think about kind of its shape, you know, it's nice long, um, but also has like this kind of solid base. So you could imagine that you want to create movement that has this sense of being grounded, but then kind of going up in the air. So really something that creates that shape and takes the shape around. Yeah, so that's a second way to do it. Um, third way to do it is maybe imagine what happens when um, you stop the fire of a candle and you have this lovely smoke coming out. So again, imagine that maybe you are some kind of smoke from the candle, moving around. So that's three examples on how to uh, take some action out of an object. Now I can take another object from my room, just looking around, I have 
Uh, but I have a comb with me. I'm not that I really need it <laughs> with the amount of hair I have, but um, a comb again uh, give me different things. Give me the idea of kind of sitting through something, so kind of pushing, brushing through. So that's one quality. Then it has a particular shape with all those kind of lines, kind of straight, sharp little things. So I could start thinking about being really quite sharp and pointy uh, in my movements. And then there is the rest of it, it's relatively flat. So again, you can start to think about lines, how to create this sense of flatness, uh, of length. So that's another one that you can take from this object. So, at home, now I want each of you to look around, take a bit of time, I'm going to give you like kind of one minute to search for a nice object and look at it, look at it quite this. Um, and then I will be playing some music and I'd like you to start improvising with that object in mind on the music. Okay? And we'll see each other uh, in a few minutes. Okay, great, we are back. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's kind of, it's a bit of a strange um, task and it's also something quite uh, liberating, trying to really find inspiration from things that are around you. Um, so we have focused on one object on its own for a few minutes, trying to find the qualities. Now I would like to extend this um, 
to kind of the whole room around us. So the idea of this next task is that we don't focus only on, on, on one object, but we focus on uh, a lot of things that we see. And the way we interact with those things are um, kind of immediate. I, 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 I see something, I can see a cable over there, pop, I imagine that I have a cable for a little while, pop, and then I see a window, and it's all about kind of reflection, I'm seeing, imagining seeing myself in the reflection, pop, and then the next thing I see is, again, a lamp turning on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. So it's really about kind of immediate thoughts, immediate uh, triggers for movement. Yeah, and the whole room is potentially uh, a trigger. So if you are in your bedroom, you have your bed, I don't know if it's about the quality of, you know, the softness of the pillow, if it's about the bounciness of the springs of the mattress, or whether it is a particular film poster you have on the wall that tells the story. Uh, but this improvisation task is very much about unlocking kind of images that send you uh, kind of movement signals. And um, they are, again, they, they can be an element of theatricality into it. If you want to start like this as a, as a first trigger, so you know I see stairs, so maybe I can start, this is kind of my first action, and then I can take this somewhere else and kind of start exploring what that motion means. Um, or you can see an object like a television and you can um, expand that maybe into the action of switching channels so going from different qualities to something that is less loud to something that is going to be bubbly um, so it's about contrast but it's also about not staying with a particular object for too long because we're going to spend two to three minutes doing this improvisation and I'd like you to you know try as many objects um, as as you can and, re and really trying to like kind of get those thoughts out um, and which doesn't mean that if suddenly you get stuck you know you can take a pause to look around get inspiration for the next one I see a vase so I'm thinking water Oh, it's blue, and then suddenly becoming really soft, right, water. Uh, and then if I can't see an object, I can just breathe for a second. And then I have a chair, and I can think of multiple ways to sit down. What does that mean? How do I do it? And uh, all, all those kind of little triggers that will get you uh, moving. Okay, so I think I've uh, said enough about this one. So once more, I'm going to let you improvise for a few minutes on your own, on music, uh, with some instructions on the screen. Okay, see you in a bit.
Okay, great, we're back together. So, um, I thought we would do one last uh, improvisation task today uh, in this session. Um, and the idea is still to look at this notion of uh, life on tour, but kind of thinking about the notion of traveling. So, I'd like you to explore um, three different movement quality in your improvisation. Um, we're going to pick kind of three most commonly used uh, ways of, of uh, traveling. So we're going to look at traveling by boat, traveling by air and traveling by train. Um, and I think uh, we're going to extract from those modes of travel um, kind of texture and, and, and um, a type, of, uh, type of movement that would suggest this. So uh, for the train, for instance, you can think about maybe the regularity of, of how a train kind of shapes and turns. And um, so, you know, there's, there's a notion of going forward and keep moving in the space that maybe can trigger your, your imagination to start with or so something very linear or maybe a way it kind of accelerates. So you can think about movement that might kind of accelerate and be quite big and linear. So that's one um, action, obviously, um, I would really encourage you to come up with your own thoughts about this idea of, 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 um, of traveling. The second one is traveling by air. So again, are we thinking about the smoothness of a flight, something that is really kind of nice and so then maybe there is turbulence is, and things get a little bit rough but then we are back into floating, you know, what, what does it feel like to feel like weightless and, and just floating in the air? So that's the second uh, quality. And then the third quality is traveling by, by boat. So it is something to do with the movement of the sea. So again, how, how do I express this? Is it the waves? Is it just being kind of pushed in different directions? Is it a small smooth sailing, anything that kind of triggers your imagination. But we're going to go through um, each of those um, movement qualities uh, and I will give you kind of one minute for each uh, for you to improvise on. Okay, so get ready and let's go.
All right, guys, so shall we learn our first uh, phrase for um, this session? So we are uh, learning a phrase about life on tour. So it is a construction of movement that are a mixture of dancing moves, but also a mixture of kind of everyday moves of uh, putting on clothes, walking around, waiting, uh, looking at your watch and things like this. So it's uh, partially theatrical and partially uh, choreographic. All right, so we're gonna go quite slowly. I'm gonna explain to you um, the movements in details and then we'll go over them uh, with counts. Um, and we're also gonna learn them um, with me facing you and then with me facing the back. So you get a chance to see um, how it would be if you were in the same room with me and just uh, doing everything behind. Okay, so first move we're gonna learn it is a step to the side and it's as if you are putting a big sleeve on. So right foot, right arm, step to the right. Same thing on the left. Left foot, left arm, step to the left. So quite simple, you are kind of feeling this arm through, taking the step and then bringing yourself down. Now there's a bit of a movement in the shoulder if you're looking up through the shoulder and then bringing yourself down and then same thing on the other side. So through the shoulder and down. Yeah, shall we have a look uh, as it looks if I was facing the other way. So up, down, up, down. Okay, so those are our first two moves. So I'm going right side, left side. Now, there's a bit of a walk, it's like putting shoes on uh, at the same time as doing a big step. So you're lifting up the right foot, stepping to the side, and then same thing to the left foot, stepping to the side. Yeah? So that's very simple. Just going up and down, up and down. Now, if I do it facing the back, you are going up and down, up and down. Okay? So let's try to put all those together. First one, we take one step to the right, one step to the left, up, down, up, down, yeah? Facing the back, to the right, big step, to the left, whoops, step, and then step. All good so far? We're going to look at the counts afterwards, but um, for now let's first learn the movements. So we have those four moves and then we finish. So we finish with the left leg to the side, your right um, arm in front of you. We're going to do a soutenu. So you're going to bring that left leg behind you and uh, rotate. So bring it around you and get yourself back to the front. Okay? So you are here on the left leg, right arm in front, and then really swinging that leg behind you and bringing it towards you. We try to finish in a parallel position. Uh, facing the front. Okay, shall we look at how that looks like if we are facing the other direction? Obviously at home you're not doing it on both directions. I'm just doing that so you can actually see both sides. Okay? So here, swinging the leg up and getting yourself back. Is that clear? Okay, so let's put those moves together. Step to the right, step to the left, big step, big step, and through me. Okay, so let's do it one more time uh, and then follow me. We go step to the right, step to the left, big step, big step, and then big through me. Okay, so you kind of got yourself ready to go on tour. Um, now you're gonna have a little moment of waiting. So you are finishing here, just going Ooh, melting down through those thighs, half placing your left arm on the floor, sitting down and looking to the left. So just a melt, going to the floor, looking to the left. Now, from the left, you're going to go very slowly, looking around, so you'll be bored, just looking through your room to the other side. And then on the other side, you remember that you actually need to go somewhere. So hop, leg and leg, get yourself up. Okay? So that is chance and melt, 
down, 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 sit, look, and then slow, look to the side, 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 and relax, to go. Alright, let's try this with what was before. We are going right side, left side, right leg, left leg. Suiting it, melting down, 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 fall, look, and then time to go to the side, legs around, and then stand up. Alright, so one time facing the other side. We go right arm. Left arm, right leg, left, so the knee, up, slowly down, 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 to sit and look, head to the other side, legs around, get yourself up. All right, obviously we'll repeat this with music quite a few times, but um, I think for now, Probably good that we keep going. So you've finished, you've got yourself up facing the front, now you want to change direction quite quickly with a very small jump. So we are going up and change. Yeah, ultra simple, both feet turning to your right side, down and change. Yeah, so obviously facing the back. Uh, if you want to see me from the back, it goes down and change. Yeah? So, we're going plie and change, and then doing a little bit of a quick stepping back. Hop, 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 hop. So you're in a hurry, and we're going step with the right, left, uh, right arm front, left arm front, right arm front, left arm front. And it's kind of bouncy. If you don't have a lot of space at home, just do it on the spot. Yeah? But you right, you jump, and then one, two, three, four. From this one, feet together, big swing of the arm, right arm up in the air and melt down. Yeah, it's a bit more tricky this one. So you're going down with the arm, up with the arm, swinging back and kneeling down. Yeah, shall we try that? So we arrive, we have jump, one, two, three, four. Feet together, arm up and down. Shall I continue? Yeah, let's continue a little bit more before I show you how it looks from the back. So from here, boom, you just push yourself forward onto your feet. You open the left knee, kind of comfortable here. And then both hands on the floor, hop over and get yourself up. Yeah? So one more time facing this direction. So we are facing the front. You have a little hop. One, two, three, four. Feet together, arm up, big swing, down. Then knees to the floor, open the left knee. Place the hand on the floor, little hop, and get yourself up. Let's have a look at this facing the back. So facing the back, you've just arrived up, and then you do little corner turn, hop, right, left, right, left, feet together, now you can really see how this arm is going up in the air and down, so both knees on the floor, left knee open, and then we have both hands down, little hop, and get yourself up. Okay, how does that sound? I'm going to give you now maybe a, a minute or two to just have a little think uh, for yourself about this sequence. It's not completely finished, but it's probably good that you have a moment to think about all the steps and then we'll do it again from the start. Okay, go for it.
Okay, and we are back. So I hope uh, it was a good little moment to recap. Um, so let, let, let's have a look all together at what we've done. Um, so we started with both feet together. We are going right side, left side, right foot, left foot, suit it around. Boom. Then melt down, 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 and sit. Look. And then you have the time to go around and look to your right side. Legs together, turn around, get yourself up. Little hop. Right, left, right, left. Feet together, right arm up in the air, down, and then face both down, foot to the side. Push, hop, and stand up. Okay, shall we do that one more time? Uh, let's actually let's do it facing the other side, and we'll do it twice facing the other side. I think it's easier for you to look at it from this angle. So, one side, the other side, the right leg, the left leg, turning around, melting down, 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 and then sit. Look, slowly to the side, and then we have right leg, left leg, turn, face the front. In a hop, one, two, three, four, down, up, and melt. Push, change, and then hop around and face the back. Again, yeah, one last time, all together facing this direction so you can see me better. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Turn around, hop, melt down, 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 and sit. Look. Slowly to the side, and we go one leg, the other leg, turn around, jump, one, two, three, four, step down, up, and all the way, and push to face the side, left leg, hands down, push, and standing. Okay, so we are almost there for this phrase. Just going to learn a couple more moves and then we'll do everything with music and counts. So, we finished. You just noticed you, you stood up. Um, so, we're standing up. We're going both hands forward, opening the chest back, and then look at your wrist. It's almost like looking at your watch. And then you realize you're late, you're grabbing your stuff, grabbing your suitcase. Turning around and you go. Yeah, so it's a, a bit more theatrical this one. Going forward and up, down, look at your wrist, wrap this around, grab the suitcase, turn, and then you go. Shall we do that facing the back? So you have this is quite a large big movement. You're going forward with the arm, opening the chest, then stepping. Down, looking at your wrist. You are very stable on your right leg, strong left leg, and then bring this arm around, grab the floor, look around, and you go. Yeah, shall we do that one more time? So, forward, back, forward, turn, grab, change, go. And this is the last uh, little movement of this sequence. All right, so back from the top. I'm gonna do that a few times and then we will look at counts. So right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg really grounded there. Find a big suit on your round. And then sorry, I'm stepping back, but you shouldn't. Going down to the floor and sitting looking from this angle, slowly scan through the room and then get your legs around, standing up. Then we hop, 
We had one, two, three, four. Feet together, arm up, big swing of the arm on the floor, on your knees, turn around. Lean a little hop on the hands and hit the front again. Forward, go back and look at the hands, swing them around, grab a suitcase and I have a feeling that me saying it is a bit confusing because you have to, it's not really a mirror, so you have to think about uh, my right being your right and so on. So let's do it twice in the same direction. So if you are looking at my back, you can do exactly what I'm doing as if we were in the studio. So one side, the other side, one leg, the other leg, swinging around. Melting down and falling to the side, looking right. Gaze through the room to your right side. Swing the leg. Get yourself up. Little hop. One, two, three, four. Step to get a big arm around. Hand on the floor. Push your knees. Step to the side. Hand on the floor. Push and turn. Um, from this one forward. Open, look at the clock, swing, ground the suitcase, turn around, and last time before we look at counts. Okay. So, right, left, right, left, turn around, melt. And then melt to the side, look. From there, look to the other side. Right leg, left leg, come to stand. Hop. One, two, three, four. Big swing. Hand on the floor, knee on the floor. Change, little hop. Get to the front. Forward, back, swing, around. Grab and go. Okay? Good. So, we're going to start looking at counts. It's not very complicated. We're going to phrase them in a phrase it obeys. So, first one you're going to do two counts to go to the side. One, two. Two counts to go to the other side. Three, four. Then one count. Five, six. And then turn around seven, eight, seven, eight. Then you have four counts to go down and sit and look. One, two, three, four. And then we go five, six, seven, eight. Back from top. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Facing the other side. Just for me. You keep staring at that screen. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's try that with music. Let's look 
and the second phrase in count. So I have finished here on an eight. I want to go one, two, three, four, then I want to go five, six, and seven, and eight. To go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, one more time, this. So on the floor, going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then eight, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm gonna be facing you uh, and telling you that one more time. So we are on the floor here. You have one, two, three, four. Four counts to get yourself up. Then you go five, six, and seven, and eight. So you want to swing this arm on an eight. Eight. One, two, three, four. Change five and six. Seven, eight. Okay? So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. The last bit. One, two, Three, four, five, five, six, seven, off, eight. Yeah? So let me tell you that one more time. So you go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, off, eight. Good. Let's try to put all this together. For clarity, I will be looking at the back and then you can just follow me. We do once with counts, then we do once with counts and music, and then we do it only once with music. Okay, with counts from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down one, two, three, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and go. Okay, take a little breath. I'm gonna let you have a little think about that again, a couple of minutes for you to just go through it, and then we're gonna do that one more time in music.
Okay, so I hope you had time to kind of get that in your head. Uh, let's try this with music, yeah? So are uh, we going to do it together? I'm going to be facing the back so you can see my back and you can do it with me. Um, and I will do it the first time with just um, with count as well as the music, so I'll be counting with you. Uh, we are doing this uh, after eight counts of music, so you know. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven arm eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. about in this sequence it's a few things there's a lot of like little details you know little look little grab things that again are more related to uh, everyday movement and then you have things that are a little bit more abstract a bit more like kind of in the breath so really thinking about those two things breathing in and then getting into like sharp little details yeah so, what about we do it twice more, uh, this time I'm not going to speak, we're just going to listen to the music and we'll do it together, facing the same direction.
well done. Well, uh, later, let's have a couple of minutes just to breathe. Thank you. Okay, so this is the last part of our session today. Um, so we've been warming up, uh, we've done a little bit of improvisation, we've learned a phrase. Um, so now I'm gonna give you uh, something more specific. I'm gonna give you a task uh, for you to develop your own material at home. Um, so we're gonna stay in the theme of our life on tour um, and the, the phrase that we've, we've learned together is uh, five eighths of counts. Um, so I'm gonna ask you to come up with something roughly of the same length because what might be fun for you at home is then to place both uh, the phrase we've learned and the phrase you create together in a sequence. So you might have your little piece uh, homemade. So the task is relatively simple. Um, it is exploring some of what we've done during the improvisation, but this time it is about setting it. So um, kind of exploring the movement and then making decisions so you keep movement and, and you build a sequence uh, from those movements. So, life on tour, traveling and different kinds of objects. The, the inspiration for you to, to create those movements will be finding, um, let's say, three objects that you might take with you when you are on tour. This can be anything you think of, you know, it can be a suitcase, it can be your favorite dress, it can be something related to actually performing, your makeup or uh, your shoes or... But thinking of three objects and how you're gonna uh, interact with the, these objects uh, similarly um, to the way we've done in the improvisation. So you have this as inspiration. Second bit of inspiration will be for you to think about those uh, modes of traveling that we've been discussing in, in the last improvisation session. So uh, traveling by boat, traveling by air, uh, traveling by train. Yes, yeah, so also something that maybe you don't have that much space at home, but something that takes you a little bit around the space uh, with a particular way of moving. And then the last uh, inspiration that um, I'd like you to take from is maybe a reference, a couple of movements from the original phrase that we've learned. But really like just a touch. So there is, there is a sense that there's a coherence between the, the, the beginning of, of the phrase if you're actually performing the whole thing together, so my phrase plus yours. So there's a bit of coherence, there's a way that you are linking both phrases together. So um, for this, uh, in this session, um, you're going to have a little bit of time at the end um, to do this with some explanations on the screen. Uh, obviously, if uh, you want to spend more time on it, you can just pause or you can come back uh, to it on uh, another day. Okay, great. Well, it's been fun doing this with you and I hope you really enjoy this uh, last little task, creating your own work. Um, and uh, I'll be really looking forward to seeing you at some point uh, in the studio um, in the future. Okay, take care.
Thank you for your brilliant insight, Renault. I hope you all enjoyed practicing at home. And don't forget, Renault is back the same time tomorrow for part two of his choreographic workshop. Tomorrow morning, we're joined by teacher, choreographer, and rehearsal director, James Muller, who will be teaching a contemporary technique class. We will see you then.